It's dangerous being too attractive. You're much too beautiful to waste on just one man. She's happily married, but her husband likes to play games. I didn't think we were going to have to do that kind of stuff again. We never agreed to that. She has what men want. He likes showing you off, doesn't he? Well, it's kind of a little game that we play. Where were you? I was having a hard time holding him off. I was here. I was listening. To what? Now that guy, he'd be a challenge. Go buy yourself a drink. Why, mine? I got it. That's not necessary. I like doing nice things for people. I don't think he's your type. Oh, really, Philip? Well, why don't you tell me what my type is? Excuse me. We're busy here. Hey, I'm her husband. You should try it sometime, buddy. It'll put some excitement back in your relationship. We don't need to play any of your crazy games to enjoy ourselves. We don't have to do this if you don't want to. Are, are you a photographer? The best. Your boss made me a proposition the other day, and I've changed my mind. Once he makes a deal with someone, he never backs out. I hope he's not after something that means a lot to you. You are so beautiful. Thank you. But the game ends. You think you could pick something up for me tonight on the way home? Really, Philip, again? You're insatiable. I don't believe the conversations that we have. I thought you liked playing people's emotions. No names. We played the game and it just got out of hand, that's all. You're turned on by the idea of losing, aren't you? Philip, it's not his fault. It's your fault. I want to kill you. Killer looks. Guardian Angel. They are partners on the biggest case of their careers. I'm gonna smash that counterfeiting ring of yours. They are lovers. I never thought I'd marry a cop. They were to be forever until a cold-blooded killer came into their lives. Now, far from the violence that was once her life, Christine McKay lives a solitary existence and dreams of vengeance. But it's a dream she thinks can never be. Prisoner in cell four has escaped. Until now. Because Lawton Hobbs is about to hire her for the job of her life. This is Christine McKay of McKay's Protection Service. He is a connoisseur of the opposite sex. I love women. But somewhere along the way, he loved the wrong one. She murdered a man. I refused to pay for her lawyer. She got life, and she swore revenge. I need a bodyguard, and you're the best person for the job. Get down! So you want protection from a psycho ex-girlfriend? What's the name of this woman? Nina! You know exactly what I want. The only thing that can save him is getting those counterfeit plates. Where are the plates? Time to go to work. She's an angel, but she's no angel of mercy. I'm Christine McKay. She's a guardian angel, starring Cynthia Rothrock and Ken McLeod. Guardian Angel. Danny Dolan could be the next All-American. He can run, he can catch, and he can take the hits. But for the ones he's taken off the field, Danny's only got one hope. Last time out. Dolan, you're 38 years old. Have you seen the guys out there? They're animals. I have got to do this. Now, please help me do something right in my life for my boy. OK, you want to play football? Where have you been for 18 years, pal? 
Don't you show up now after all the hard work's done and expect to be my father again. I want to be your friend. You got a problem I know something about. Don't let history repeat itself. Well, you're wrong. I don't have a problem. And you and I don't have anything in common. You're going to lose it. Your scholarship, your girl, or your future. You're going to make a great father someday. I can't wait. I'd lose it all. You haven't lost anything yet, Danny. Now I want you to put your helmet on and come back out there with me. It's gut check time for the Dolans. Ready, sir, hey! And they are down to their last timeout. Everything in Tammy's life is just great. But when you're young and in love, life can get very complicated, especially when it involves an insanely jealous creep. That's my lady, all right? Oh, God, man, I do. Late night phone calls. I want you to come over. Yes! Sneaking around in your own house. Did you lock the door? Don't worry. Your boyfriend getting dumped in a wild animal park. And a crazy doctor. Well, that's it. Who turns out to be a mad scientist. I mean, if you're going to make an omelet, you have to break a few eggs, right? <laughs> With an insane invention that only needs a brain. Yes! But this Tyrannosaurus Rex just wants to be a party animal. Even when you tell the truth, nobody believes it anymore. It was a dinosaur. A what? It's more than a machine with a brain. I mean, it is a machine with feelings. We are on the brink of something special. Ah! We are going to be immortalized. Is that really you in there? Oh, Michael, what have they done to you? Oh, you poor thing. You've gone crazy. Byron, I am not going crazy. This is just a little hard to explain. That's my dinosaur! It's in a truck uh, being driven by your back, uh, by your son. Byron? Uh, yes, sir. You see a couple of folks back in the hospital. They, they say he stole it. Stole what? The dinosaur. Oh, jeez. That is my dinosaur that you are threatening. I made him and he is mine. Uh, what are we going to do? I will give you immortality. Not if Tammy has anything to say about it. Tammy and the T-Rex. 